thing I like about Scum is the way they present the open world map. I used to play a lot of Grand Theft Auto 5 and I didn't like the way the other players were able to see where you were on the map. Especially if you're running a mission, the game actively encourages them to come and find you and kill you while you're trying to make some money to buy a $800 t-shirt or $5 million. I don't know what the what, what they've even got in the game these days. But I want this, an experience that's more like real life. And that's what this is. Unless you can physically see the player, you don't know where they are, what they're up to. That's pretty cool. In real life, I love to get away from everyone. I love to be out on a beach somewhere where I can't see any other people. And I just feel the, the natural flow of time rather than the man-made world where everybody's rushing around trying to feel like feeling like they always need to be doing something i went for a drive the other day to look for a new base location because the one i'm in is quite small and i think it's time to upgrade something a bit more comfortable and i found this location and i really like it i tried to place a flag in a number of other spots and they were too close to pois so i made this little base here and yeah, it's going going well at the moment. I made the doors so that if I park my car here and the battery goes dead flat, I can roll start it down the hill. Got the car there at the moment. We all know what's going on here where I've hidden the flag. We'll put some towers up so we can get up and enjoy the view without leaving the base. We're up high, reasonably close to petrol. Light the fire. And of course we've got um, nothing. Usually we can get logs out of there. Warm my character up a little bit. It's cold as fuck in here. It is cold as fuck. Which I like. I really like that it's cold as fuck because most people are going to stay away from the area because it's not practical. And the idiots like me would come up here. It'll be perfect. Oh, I can't lock it. I'm pretty stoked about being able to get things spawning in the base. Got myself a frying pan and a carbon hunter. 
some bird shot, which I can sell. I've upgraded these doors. Ooh, I'd give anything for a drink of water. And the other thing that I've done is over here, I've put in a well. I can fill up my water containers. Have a drink, I don't have to worry about the snowballs so much. And I've also put a target in so I can get my rifle skills and my archery skills up safely in the base. We might head down to the junkyard and get some barbed wire and some scrap so we can do some upgrading on this base. Caught behind the Venetian blinds Had a reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Hey, look at me, man, I want to be calm I've been running at least Looking for something Day and day Turn left here, I think. Junkyards. Far, oh, there it is down there. Need to hide this vehicle. of a metal box. Seems pretty quiet. Okay. We can just start loading this up. Yeah, we need to hide that a little bit. traders and sell what I can. I've been looting here for quite a while now. Getting a bit over it to be honest. So what we've done, what we've got, is a fair bit of, I was after scrap initially so we've got plenty of scrap. Baseball bats, electrical, got a few bows of also got a, I'm using a bow for the puppets um, and as we find repair kits I've been repairing the bows so I've got a number of 100% bows that we can sell made another box and I was hoping to fill this up as well too much mucking around, but the point is, we can go to the traders now, we can sell quite a bit of stuff and definitely get enough for, it. I think, one repair kit, but I also need to get new rubber boots and I need those up in the snow. So first thing, get as much money as we can, buy a pair of rubber boots, then we get a car repair kit. That's the plan. Off we go. No loitering. Either buy or get lost. That's <laughs> good customer service. Right, four thousand two hundred. We can do that. Buy. So we got our scrap. We got some barbed wire. Still got six hundred and forty-three. I've got my boots. 
car repair kits. Let's go and see if we can get some barbed wire. Welcome, it's welcome. Not... Feel free oh, that's to a candle. Around. All right, bye. Crafting barbed wire, three hundred and sixty. I can only get one thing of barbed wire. If I have to, I can just go back to the junkyard and get more barbed wire. I think we'll be smarter. Get two more pairs of those. But we won't wear them right now. Right, so we'll get three pairs. So we should be fine up at the base for quite a while. I'll try to just wear those when I'm at the base. Actually, anywhere in the snow, I need those. Just put those in there. Let's repair the car. Are we? We're on 39. Uh, repair. 68. Ninety-seven. So we're basically back to full health on the car. Not a bad trip to the junkyard. Pretty happy with that. Now if I can make sure I don't crash on the way home. And while it was a successful trip to the traders, we still need to get a lot of barbed wire. So we're just heading into this town now to do a bit of looting, do a bit of selling, get some money, get some barbed wire. to browse around. Thank you, sir. So I need to get some money to buy some Let's barbed... Let's see what you have. Get some barbed wire. I've got heaps of shit, dude. Repaired. Oh. Those helmets. That one's alright. I took and repaired most of it up to 100%. Sell. Oh, I missed one. Sell. Three thousand three hundred ninety six. Another two hundred there. Seventy five for that. Not too bad. Sell. If you want me to buy that, you better give me good price. Let's oh, see what you have. That, 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 that. Wanted barbed wire. Do it. Now we're gonna get home. I don't get what's happening. For a start, I should be Danny Trejo. And when I logged out, I was alive. Prisoner died while I was alive. I was inside my cabin, lying down on the bed. I was in sector D1, not D2. If I'm in D2, if my body's in D2, I have no idea where it is, because... So now I'm Danny Trejo again. You can see right there the blueprint so if I aim come on try to keep my eye on where that was I'm logged out I can't die crazy The car's gone. The character's flipping out. 
the locks are gone. Someone came and broke into my base. All the locks are gone. Someone's left a radio playing somewhere. Oh no, I've been cleaned out. Half my clothes and stuff are gone. Ah. Still a fair bit here. The motorcycle boots are just a spawn. Ammo's all gone. Someone's come and lockpicked the base. Hopefully they blew up on a landmine that was there. Damn it. I mean, it's not all lost, but they've got no locks. It's amazing how long that other base lasted where I was and no one ever found it. I wonder if it was the light of the fire going through the walls, which is not cool. You should be able to have a fire in a building without everyone seeing it, especially when you're surrounded by 10 foot walls. I picked through four locks. There's a fair bit of stuff missing from here and here. I've got no backpacks, got no warm clothes. I upgraded the walls on this. I was going to upgrade here. And to be fair, I was looking at going on to another server. Already played a little bit on two other servers. I was really enjoying living up here. Not safe now. Can't even lock the place. And I wasn't sure how to finish this episode. So, <laughs> at the start of this episode, it's so ironic came up here, I was talking about getting away from people, and I thought it was working, but I survived for weeks in that other one, in that tiny little base, and no one ever came, though I did, a couple of landmines went missing, so maybe some people did go there, but whoever came here knew how to pick locks, that's it for this server, I shall go and begin again elsewhere, I could begin again here, but I'd I was going to leave anyway, at some point. Why is my player disappearing like that though? I mean, it can't just be a glitch. Mind you, it was very strange that I wasn't showing up at Dan as Danny Treo in the start screen there. What's that on the counter? Doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah. Damn, I was enjoying this place. I liked the light and the fire. Anybody online? Europe. Yep. Noon's safe. Nop. I can't, well, I can't relate to the way these young cunts talk. Just write a sentence. Have a conversation. Anyway. I'm just uh, annoyed because they came and broke in. Surprised they got through that many locks had a lock basic lock protection on that too and there was a lock on the car maybe just destroyed it i highly doubt they followed me but did see a group at the traders i mean if they would manage to follow me all the way back home that was well done all right that's it that's the end of this episode and i'll be moving on to a different server smell you later